this little fellow. I came up to feed his mama. And he followed me all the way back to the gate. I was like, no, I'm not your mama. Your mama's over here. Now, here's your mama. There you go. You stay here with your mama and your brother. Yeah. You're not supposed to follow me. That's your mama. Now I can leave. Hopefully it won't follow me. I'm out here with the hoggett flock. Brindle, back off. Back off. And... We have one of the half-breds has lambed. And there's her lamb. Right there. Hey girls. Okay. Leave it, Brindle. Now, one of the reasons why I kept the uh, half-breds here is because they're from Texel sheep. And Texel sheep don't need rich grass. They're a very hardy breed. So I didn't want her to get too fat. Bear, stop. She's very protective of her lamb. Good girl. It's a big lamb. Big, healthy, single. And she lambed it down fine. Brindle, go away. So I'm now gonna carry her to the field. The mama will follow me. Come here. Inca, come here, leave it. The mama should follow me. She's looking for her baby. This is your baby. Now, hopefully she'll follow me. There we go. Now I have to carry the lamb this way. As you can see, she lost interest when I pulled it away. And it should be fine. Ah, look, there's time is entering the company of us. So this way, she will keep following us. The rest of the flock is as well. Look at this, isn't that beautiful sunrise? All the sheep think they're getting fed and her mothering instinct is saying, do I go for the feed or do I stick with my lamb? Hey, Crystal, how are you? Anyway, this is gonna take two hands. I have to rotate back and forth, but the lamb is fine. It's a big, healthy ram lamb. Yeah. Yeah. So now she, I've given her a nibble of food. See, the thing is, what her cross is, is a Texel cross. 
and that's a single lamb. And if she'd been on good pasture, she wouldn't have been able to lamb on her own. And with the first time, when a sheep lambs for the first time, you want it to be easy. You don't want it to be difficult. So she had access to a mineral lick, hay, and the bare basics. Aunt Maya, leave her. Back off, back off, good girl. And so I kept her lean and mean, as it were. She wasn't starved. Um, and she had act access to a mineral lick. But the ram lamb is perfectly fine. And now I can put her up in the grass with the richer um, proteins in it so that she can eat. And that's her reward there. And then there's water right behind me. There's a water trough. But uh, no, stonking great big ram lamb single for a first time lambing hoggett, which is a Zvartblas, Zvartblas Texel cross. I believe the Texel is the other half. But um, yeah, she did really well. All on her own, clever girl. But that's because I managed it and gave her the appropriate diet for her breed. Uh, the Zvartblasses are a bigger, leaner, longer sheep, whereas the Texel is a squat, tight, square, meaty breed, because the Zwartloss is more of a dairy breed. Well, they're a mixed breed. You can milk them and eat them and use their will. So they're a trifecta breed. And the Texel is basically for meat. Their wool is coarse. Her wool will be softer because of the Zwartloss mixener. So this lamb is um, three quarters Zwartloss because the sire was a Zwartloss and the grandmother was a Zwartloss and she's the half bred so that's three quarter bred. But uh, so she's now joined the flock with the lamb sheep. But for her to have lambed on her own and have a healthy lamb and an easy lambing relatively uh, she needed to have a very restricted diet. She couldn't have the rich diet, a richer diet. The Svartblas diet wasn't all that rich. She couldn't have the richer diet. Otherwise, that ram would have been huge and she wouldn't have been able to lamb it herself. Anyway, time for my breakfast. <coughs> hey, Mama. <coughs> yeah, how are you? Just checking, checking in on the, oh, goodness me. I'll have to check her later. The yo there is very lame. Completely sound last night. How are you? Yeah, good morning, ladies. You're all fine by the looks of it. And your two boys are fine, too. I don't have any food. I feed you later. I'm just checking on you. And all the numbers add up. Come on, girls. Let's go. Come on. Come on, Ink. I'll see you guys later. Uh, they think I've put food in the trough in the shed. Yeah, and I'll come and look at your foot later. Okay? Dior's lame, and she's not normally lame. And she wasn't yesterday.
You'd think the orchard sheep are starving. I just checked on them and they're fine. All their lambs are there. It's just very frosty ground and the grass is cold to eat. This Texel half-bred is doing very well with her lamb. Who's feeling the chill, but keeps up suckling and getting lots of lovely warm milk. But you can see the ground is frosty. And you want your breakfast. I want my breakfast too. But you can see the ground is very, very frosty. But look at that wiggly tail. Look at that wiggly tail. So it's a very frosty morning. Cold, cold, cold. But the lambs are fine. That's what you always like to see. When a lamb shakes like that, it's healthy and feeling fine and probably just fed. And she's a good, attentive, first-time mother. Just what you want to see.